Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to convert your actual Game Boy Advance cartridges into GBA ROM files. So for this video, you will need an old DS. This can be the original DS or the DS Lite. You will also need an R4 card. So basically guys, you will need to install the software onto your R4. So go ahead and take out your SD card and connect it to your PC using the SD card adapter. Right guys, so once you're on your computer, I will leave a link to this file in the description. Basically guys, it's called GBA Backup Tool. All you want to do is just go ahead and click the green download file button. Then just click start download and the zip file will begin downloading. So it's a really small file. Once it's downloaded, you can just click close. Then just head over to your computer's downloads folder. Um, here you can find the zip file. Basically, all you want to do is just right click it and then select extract here. I was then going to give you this file, GBA Backup Tool. Um, all you want to do, guys, is just copy this to the root of your R4's SD card. So just drag and drop. Okay, so once it's on there, you can just head over to your DS and I'll show you guys how to back up the games. Right guys, so once you're back off your computer, you can now just go ahead and put the SD card back into your R4. Now all you want to do is just put your R4 and your Game Boy Advance game of choice into your DS. So I'm going to be using Crash Bandicoot XS for this video. Right guys, so go ahead and power your DS on, then you can just go ahead and start up your R4 card. So on your R4, look for the folder just called GBA underscore backup underscore tool. Just press A to open it. And then this is the file you want to run. Just run GBA underscore backup. So just press A. Okay, so once it opens, it says please select a target cart to slot to. So just press A on this part. Then you just want to get to the right section. So right now we're on save backup and we don't want that. Press R to go next, so that's save restore. Um, just press R again and then this is the right page. So just press R twice and you will get to ROM backup. From here all you want to do is just press B and what this is going to do is just going to create um, the ROM file from your actual cartridge onto your R4's SD card. So as you can see here that's the file name and it's going the file is made by the file name. So all you want to do is just press A to run. So as you can see right here, it's right now it's doing a ROM backup. It is dumping the contents from the cartridge onto my R4's SD card. So just wait for this to complete. It just takes like a minute or so. Right guys, so once it's finished, all you can want to do now is just go ahead and power off your console. You then just want to take the SD card out of your R4 and go and connect it back onto your computer. Right guys, so I'm back on my PC and here is my SD card right here. So I'm just going to double click to go onto it. And this is the file you're looking for. It's just called GBA underscore backup. Um, this file will be created when you back up your game. So if I go into it, here is my game right here, guys. So I'm just going to show you guys that this is a fully working Game Boy Advance file. So what I'm just going to do is just copy it to my downloads. Then I'm just going to open my Game Boy Advance emulator. And let me open this ROM that I just downloaded and prove to you guys that it's a fully working game. So you go guys, the ROM is running at um, full speed on my computer. So that is how you back up your Game Boy Advance cartridges into actual Game Boy Advance ROMs. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.